So the next step is going to be applying the red clay to the surface of your pinch pot. This is, I've let this dry for a few hours and so that it's like, it's nice and hard so it's easier to work with and it will um, accept the, uh, the red clay that we're about to paint on it. Um, for that, this is when you're going to open up your little bag of red clay dust. And what you're going to do is take that dust and put it into a container. I just have like a little, like old takeout container here and take some water and you're just going to pour some water into the dust. And I'm just going to use my little knife and start mixing it up. And you want to be pretty gentle. It's like, it's pretty fine dust. So you don't want to kick up too much dust with this. It's okay if you do. This is pretty much just like a face mask with some rust in it, like a clay face mask. So it's pretty okay, but it does, since it's rusty, it has iron oxide in it. And that can kind of, if you have like a white surface or like your clothes, you might want to be careful, wear an apron if you feel like you might get in a mess. Um, so I'm just mixing this sort of gradually bit by bit until I get rid of most of the lumps. And we don't want to start with all the water at once. Um, because if you make it too wet, it's not going to paint onto the surface very well, but you do want it to be pretty thin. So just mix it up till you don't see any lumps anymore. Just kind of tilt it so I can get a better angle. This won't stain your hands or anything, so it's okay to use without gloves. Just wash everything off with soap and water. It should mostly wash, the white clay will wash out of your clothes completely and this should wash out most of the way, if not all the way. I wouldn't suggest wearing white right now. Um, so when it's pretty um, mixed together like this, this is good. And we're ready to paint it on to the surface of this little vessel here. So I'm just gonna take this little, um, this little sponge brush and just apply the red clay onto it as evenly as you can. Um, you might want to let the, it dry and your clay could, like your, um, your mixture of red clay could be even a little bit um, thinner than this. So I'm just trying to apply it evenly and you can kind of start seeing that it's um, drying out so it's my fingers don't affect it when I'm touching it anymore and just keep painting it on all the way around and trying to be as consistent as possible uh, we're not going for a super thick coat that'll be hard to draw into because the point of this red clay is to just mask the white clay so that when we use that pointy wooden tool, we can scratch the design out of the red clay into the white, which is called this graffito technique. And it's nice to paint the bottom as well. Just get that all over. You can paint the inside of your pot as well. We won't be drawing into that, so you don't really have to worry about that part. I think I'll just leave mine bare for contrast. And once that's all painted on there, if it's not quite dry yet, or if you want to do another coat in between your first coat, I think this one's okay for me, so I'll just leave it. I'm just going to put it upside down for it to dry in its rim so it's not going to mess up the bottom.